What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for The Weight by Shawn Mendes. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below what are the songs by Shawn Mendes that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play The Weight on guitar is that in order to get rid of some bar chords and keep this as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to third fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing you want to know for The Weight is the structure of this song. We're going to start out with a verse, then go to chorus then verse and chorus again, then we're gonna have a bridge, and then we're gonna finish up with one last chorus. And the last thing you wanna know before we dive into the weight is the five chords that we need to play this song. The first one is E minor seven. The next one is G over B. The next one is C add nine. The next one is G. And the last one is D over F sharp. And I'll have chord charts for all of those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into the weight. Man, this is a little bit of an older Shawn Mendes song, but I've gotten so many requests to teach it. And I'm so stoked that you guys shared this song with me because it is a beautiful one. So with that in mind, guys, let's dive into this song. The first thing we're going to take a look at is our chord progression and our strum patterns that are going to play through all of our verses and our bridge. That's going to be the same thing for the verses and the bridge. Now, this is going to look a little bit intimidating, but I promise it's not as difficult as it seems. So first thing, let's take a look at our chord progression. Our chord progression for our verses and bridge is going to go E minor 7, G over B, C add 9, G, and D over F sharp. In that order, on repeat, through all of our verses and our bridge. Now, you'll notice that there's some starring and some underlined chords there. And again, that's what's probably looking a little bit intimidating. All that is, is just to differentiate which strum patterns we're using for which chords. Looks complicated, still probably sounds pretty complicated, but we're going to walk through it chord by chord and break it down so that you guys can really get a grasp on what we're doing here. This is really the only tricky part of this song, is just kind of remembering which strum pattern goes with which chord in this particular chord progression. So, let's start with our E minor, that's our non-starred chord, that's our first non-starred chord. For our non-starred chords, we're going to go down, down, up, just like that. And then we're on to our next chord, which is a G over B. And that's going to be our first starred chord. For our first starred chord, what we're going to do, this is actually our only starred chord, we're going to go down, up, down, up, down, just like that. So, so far, E minor, we got down, down, up, and then we go to G over B, down, up, down, up, down. And then we're on to C add nine, which is another unstarred chord. So for that one, we've just got down, down, up. And then we go to G. And this is our underlined chord here. For this one, it's going to be really similar to what we did for G over B, but a little bit different. We're going to go down, up, down, up. And then quickly to that D over F sharp, which is a non-starred chord, which we're going to go down, down, up just like that. So we almost have a different strum pattern for every chord there. Really we have the only kind of constant is the non-starred chords, which is our down, down, up ones. And then the G over B and the G are the ones that we switch up and have something weird going on. So one more kind of walk through straight through that with our strum pattern so you guys can get a real good grasp on that before we run through it, it looks like this. We're gonna start here with our E minor seven, that's our first chord. We'll go down, down, up, and then to G over B, down, up, down, up, down. And then C add 9, down, down, up, and then G, down, up, down, up, and then D over F sharp, down, down, up. And guys, that chord progression with those strum patterns is going to repeat through all of our verses and our bridge. Now, I know that strum pattern situation is a little bit funky and it's a little bit hard to remember, but when Shawn Mendes plays this live, he actually plays kind of a combination of picking and strumming that's a little bit more complex, a little bit more intricate, and a little bit more advanced. And I wanted to break this down in a way that most beginners would be able to play this. And so what I was trying to do is kind of develop a beginner-friendly strum pattern situation for this that would really well mimic what Shawn's playing, but again, be as beginner-friendly as possible. So that's what that is. It'll match perfectly perfectly with the song that's the only kind of just thing is that you got to kind of remember which strum pattern goes with which chord. So I'd recommend kind of taking some notes on that. And just, again, it's kind of a feel thing. So the more you practice it, the easier it'll get. So guys, with all that in mind, a couple of times through that chord progression and those strum patterns that will repeat through all of our verses and our bridge full speed will look about like this.
And guys, the only other thing that you need to know to play the weight on guitar is the choruses. For the choruses, we're just gonna have one chord progression and just two strum patterns this time. So it gets a little bit easier from there, a little bit less to remember. First, let's take a look at our chord progression. We're gonna have E minor seven, C add nine, G, and D over F sharp repeated through all of our choruses. And again, you'll notice that we have stars next to some of our chords there. All that is, same thing as before, is just to differentiate which strum pattern we're gonna play for which chord. So same thing as before, again, we're gonna break this down chord by chord. We'll start with our E minor seven. Our non-starred chords, so our E minor seven and our G, are gonna be played with down, down, up, down, up for each chord. So about full speed will be about like that. Next we go to our C add nine, which is gonna be our first starred chord. So our starred chords are our C add nine and our D over F sharp. For our starred chords, we're gonna go down, a little bit of space, and then up, down, up, down, just like that. So a little bit faster, a little bit closer to full speed is about what those starred chords will sound like. From there, we're into our G, which is another non-starred chord. For that, we'll go down, down, up, down, up. And then we go to our D over F sharp. That's our last starred chord there. We'll go down, up, down, up, down. And that is just gonna repeat over and over again throughout our choruses. And it's really big and really strummy. Now, I didn't mention this about the verses, but they're kind of dialed back. If you listen to the song before, which if you're watching this video, I'm sure you have, the verse strum pattern is kind of dialed back. You play it kind of quietly. And you'll notice that when you're trying to play along with the song. It's very like dialed back, very quiet and mellow. The chorus is a different story. The chorus is just all out, just strumming big and big and hard. So you're really looking for kind of like, kind of that vibe. You want it to be really big and really loud. And so that's kind of the vibe that we're gonna go for for our choruses. Now this is a little bit easier than the verses and bridge, so we're not gonna spend as much time on it, but one more quick little walkthrough of our chord progression with those two strum patterns look like this. We'll start with our E minor here, and we'll go down, down, up, down, up, C add nine, down, up, down, up, down, G, down, down, up, down, up, and then G over B, down, up, down, up, down. Just about like that, repeated over and over again throughout all of our choruses. So with all that in mind, guys, a couple of times all the way through our chorus chord progression with those strum patterns will look about like this. And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play the weight on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 700 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see what song I'm jamming on today or pictures of my dog, you can hit up my Instagram story at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. Guys, the weight is one of those songs that I've gotten so many requests for and it's such a beautiful song and I'm so happy that you guys shared it with me. It's a really great song for beginner guitarists. It might seem a little bit tricky because there's so much going on with different strum patterns and stuff. But again, as I kind of said earlier, Sean Mendez kind of plays this with a combination of picking and strumming that's even more complex than what I shared with you guys. And so this is kind of a broken down, more beginner friendly version of what he's playing. It's still, still the same thing, it'll still fit perfectly, but it's just a little bit more broken down and those different strum patterns kind of help the timing, right? This song, the chords are really easy and the progressions are really easy and it's mostly repetitive, but the timing of the song is a little bit interesting, not difficult, just interesting. And so getting that kind of timing down, the best way to do that is to have alternating strum patterns like that, which we've been talking a lot about on this channel lately. And it's a really cool technique to do. And it's definitely still beginner friendly. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. So anyways, guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.